The United States has not had a formal ambassador to Mogadishu since we closed our mission on January 5, 1991. I can tell you today that this will be changing. As a reflection both of our deepening relationship with the country and of our faith that better times are ahead, the President will propose the first U.S. Ambassador to Somalia in more than two decades. We indeed look forward to the day when both nations have full-fledged diplomatic missions in the capital of the other. I said earlier that U.S. policy towards Somalia was based not solely on what we are against, but more importantly, what we are for. So in closing, let me just say that America is for a Somalia where children are born healthy and immunized against deadly disease, a Somalia where families are able to eat more than a single meal each day and where the water they drink won't harm them, a Somalia where every boy and girl has access to an education, a Somalia where women and men are able to walk without fear and where citizens have faith in their government because freedom has meaning and the rights of all are respected.